Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 12th of December. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you some standout strands to look out for, which we can all relate to collectively, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in much greater detail each of the 12 zodiac signs. Now, as this week begins, a truly notable event. Mercury recently moved into the rather business-like sign of Capricorn, enters its shadow period. This is the period before the retrograde begins, which is on the 29th of December. It comes out of that on the 18th of January. But if we are dealing with anything that is more to do with those worldly affairs, it is going to be important to really manage the detail. But despite this, later this week, Mercury does forge a sparkling alliance with Uranus. And it's suggesting this combination that if we can think of new and fresh ways to approach our worldly interactions, even at this late stage of the year, perhaps the shadow period and then the retrograde is asking us to rethink or flex in new ways which can actually be really valuable to us. Now also, right at the start of the week, Venus and Jupiter, the two planets of fortune, are just in a square. This runs over from the previous week. It could give us uh, an opportunity to uh, be very generous to someone. Maybe we can get together with people that uh, we have a kinship with, particularly actually through those worldly interactions with Venus in the 10th house. But this is a week when the sun does square up with Neptune. If you remember, this began on the last day of last week. The sun in the sign of Sagittarius is very much about discovery, adventure, independence, travel, higher knowledge, philosophies, and uh, even education can be around the rule of law. Neptune, of course, is very much to do with dreams. It's a very mystical influence and at its best can have quite a magical impact. But I think this particular influence can see us amplify or exaggerate our senses even if they're not conscious so if something just put, puts us in a bit of a spin there could be a tendency to buy into it a little bit too much ironically jupiter the other ruling planet of pisces along with neptune is in a sensational link with pluto for the whole of this week if there is something that you've been working on in a physical way uh, for a long time that has required a great deal of patience. It could be your links with someone that have been developing, perhaps not so much at a tangible level, more an instinctive level. Uh, there could be someone that uh, your association with can actually end up being very fortunate indeed. And from Monday through to Thursday, the sun's in a very constructive link with Saturn. This can offset some of the distortion the sun's right angle with Neptune can create. And remember, with that Mercury shadow period, managing details is important. So what Saturn is doing with the sun here is asking us to be a bit more detached because it's in the sign of Aquarius, which is airy, to think through our ideas for expansion, but research them in a, a very thorough and step-by-step -step way. And that can push back some of the dissipating energy of Neptune square to the sun, which can drain a little bit of vitality from proceedings. Now on Saturday, there is a quarter moon in the precise sign of Virgo. This is just saying to us, if we do feel that we want to help out or volunteer or uh, assist people in some kind of ways, that's very laudable. We just need to make sure in the following week that we're not promising to do something that actually becomes a bit of a bind to deliver on, perhaps around those festive arrangements. But right at the end of this week, it's the sun that comes into Jupiter, into a square with Jupiter, replacing uh, Venus. And this is an aspect really that 
um, can actually have a very generous side to it. If we can find ways to embrace the more traditional festive strands of looking out for those who are less fortunate, of just small but important gifts, uh, these type of things actually could really have quite an impact on the recipient. But it's also saying to us not to get too caught up in trying to be too much of, uh, of a people pleaser, I think, around our budget if we are facing some uh, financial realities which are tricky. I think we need to stick with what we feel really comfortable with. But there could be some kind of discussion at the end of this week where you find yourself uh, talking about something where you have a very different world view from the person that you're discussing this issue with but actually you can gain or learn something from what could even be a disagreement if you're open to the possibility. Now, we're nearly in 2023. What will the year hold for you as an individual? You can gain a lot from the zodiac forecasting for sure, but it's your personal astrology which is really crucial. If you give me your time, date and place of birth, I can give you your forecast for the coming year. And this will give you searing insights as to when planetary influences are impacting on your natal chart. But also my special package of 30% off, you can get your life roadmap, character analysis report. Please see the link below. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I'd love you to subscribe. If you're an ongoing follower, thank you so much for joining me once more. Now, here is your in-depth forecast for each sign. So Capricorn, your week commences in the 12th of December forecast has quite a lot of action. Pluto in your sign forges a glorious link with Jupiter. If there's an idea that you really feel excited about, then this gives you a great opportunity to manifest it with passion, determination, but also with a slice of fortune threaded through. Mercury in your sign, however, does enter its pre-retrograde shadow. But I want to encourage you that when Mercury uh, does slow down, this gives you a chance to perhaps rethink some ideas that had been cooking up for you. Because the sun is in your 12th house still, there may have been a degree of uncertainty around your situation over the last three or four weeks. You may have even felt a little bit out of sorts, a bit run down, uh, lacking a bit of motivation, feeling a bit more withdrawn or even quite sensitive. And it is true that with Neptune, the planet, which is very much to do with psychic sensitivity, squaring up with the sun, I think there is the potential for something that seems uh, to be uh, quite large in your psychology. It can really amplify the 12th, third house. And it's important, I think, to be aware that it could be a neighbor, a sibling, a piece of information that you hear locally, something you read online that could actually get under your skin a little bit. The great news is that your ruler Saturn, which has really been testing your financial situation and your sense of self-worth over the last couple of years, well that actually forges a really positive link with the sun. So the stuff you've been doing behind the scenes, the planning, the preparation, all the hard work and application over a long period of time, you may start to see how things can be rejuvenated in a more solid way, despite this immediate financial uh, uh, impact that we're all experiencing with the cost of living being so much greater. Also, there is a quarter moon this week, which occurs on Saturday. For you, this is in your sister uh, earth sign of Virgo. And again, this, uh, this ninth house energy uh, reacts with the sun in the 12th and can amplify sensitivities. So if there is certain parts of your situation that you've been feeling a bit insecure about, unsure about, or if you don't feel you can utterly rely on certain people, I would definitely listen to your sixth sense. But also know this, 
with Mercury linking very charismatically to Uranus in the second half of this week. There could still be a conversation, a connection, which sparks you off and really gets you excited. And remember, you're getting ever closer to that point in the week following this one, when we have the winter solstice, the sun returns to your sign, we have a new moon in your sign, and you're really going to move into the present. So if some of the uh, the rather lowering energy that I'm mentioning here does seem to prevail, just be aware that a big push of new exciting energy awaits you next week.